Oh yeah. Um, I've been working with this for going around like two years now, two and a half years in general development, concept, ideas, just things. Um, I still believe, and I still no, truly do believe that lensless does work, and you know it's been proven by Dan Quayle, or Quayle sorry. And uh, well, this way that I've done it doesn't work. It does generate power. It does work as a conventional generator. That's what I don't want. You know, I don't want a lens law. So if anybody is thinking about doing anything like this, well, basically don't. It's one of many things. It could be that it's three phase. That could be a problem. It's the fact that I've got all these on the outside and nine on the inside, basically. There's not enough pushback field. It could be the fact that I've got these blades only on the one side and not on the inner row for it, well, the inner core as well, which I can't with these motorbike stators. They're just uh, too, too chunky as it is. Uh, it could be this, this overall setup, the fact that I've got two units arguing against each other magnetically because with this one, if I just had this before like I did with the motor, uh, it's just one of these with a DC motor at the top spinning spinning the rotor away. Um, that produced 10 volts or thereabouts. With these two units together and with six blades, six blades works best it seems, uh, yeah with the six blades uh, to combined these only produce 10 volts so somewhere there is a some form of conflict going on that I just I just don't understand or can't deal with uh, kind of disheartening really to have worked so much on this and this is my most precision bit of engineering that I've actually pretty much ever done um, you know it's it's been a lot of work gone into this a lot of thought a lot of times going absolutely crazy trying to figure out how to do this you know it's been luck as well because I've, I've got all these materials all these bits and pieces you know like I've, I've shown before my rotor is just uh, another alternator with strip band it was just a bit too small thanks to eBay and not uh, showing on what sizes it is uh, yeah it's just been all bits bits of plastic and piping and even the metal blades the magnets everything cutting the diameters of these uh, these inner rings it's all been in a way luck or you know something so it's been good doing it definitely I've learned a lot but what I've also learned is in this way one of the many things I just said it doesn't really want to work um, I've got different forms over here but again still working with uh, limitations there. So I've got like a, a mini version of it, as I've shown before in other videos. Uh, another motorbike stator. I thought it might have been because there were so many poles, but this one's with six. Yeah, I know it's offset at the moment, but again, that was just messing about. And it's just just been left this way. But with, I guess, it is the segmented magnets. It causes the uh, a cogging effect, obviously, and. Uh, not being able to put any repelling magnets in the uh, middle it's just been all pushing one way so I guess that's that's one of the uh, issues so with the lensless uh, well a balance and equilibrium is absolute it's a must obviously conventional generators could work like this if these were spinning that would be whacking out loads of power but with a uh, lensless it's got to be uniform it's got to be symmetrical in some way um, and yeah equal forces I got round to messing about with a little power supply I've got a 240 volt 5 amp uh, I've wired that into this little force motor because it, it's been killing its battery as I've got kind of a, a heavy duty drive system which for, for when it was said I watched the video so oh, the daily motors don't produce much torque well you know driving this thing yeah, it's got a lot of weight to it, but it also has torque to it. It's just maybe yours doesn't. So yeah, um, the old uh, 
and thirty-five five here, screwed to the top and all that. Um, I've had it when it's running off this little motor here because it's more robust. So I've gone back to the old pole system. And other ideas that I've had before, which were my ideas, was uh, this one here. Well, this one here, just in case you never heard that. A um, RW pulse motor driving it around here. Little ferrite magnet there. It's a brilliant magnet that is. Uh, this is a rotor for the uh, the mini six pole. Uh, was meant to be lensless generator, actually with all the holes in. Lucky little bit of metal, some spare bearings, but these two ring magnets here from a, a microwave. They're both repelling each other. It's working on the same repelling field concept. But as you can see, I've set them off uh, at an angle so that at the top there it's pushing closest to the coil, pushing the other repelling field outside. And as it moves round, actually the field gets pushed back but no fields are broken but uh, uh no, no fields are broken but it does have a minor well actually no i haven't wired it properly to be honest i've got all this stuff here I've, I've, I've well when i've wired it i've got a reading but then when i've put a well i have actually i put my car battery onto it the fields only went to the top there so some some strange reason it's behaving there just funny and I just can't be currently asked to deal with it because I've got you know I was working on this one working on that one worrying about that great big uh, inverter up there but yeah maybe someone else would like to have a, a look at this two repelling fields are set off diagonally uh, there is lateral motion because of just the way they are otherwise if these were straight it would spin perfectly but the unit wants to move this way okay if anybody wants to replicate that just keep that in mind and uh yeah it's all been fun but unfortunately for this design uh yeah i have to admit defeat because i've exhausted all that i can and i've got a lot of a lot of stuff still things that i could do so many other things that i could do but it's just becoming so mentally taxing that i just can't cope with it for now so yeah uh one little bit each time that i've been rewiring it i've loved making this again i love making it it works really nicely accident noise as well <laughs> but yeah um might as well give it a little spin up but uh currently because this this blew up on me uh two days ago these magnets come all flying off so i've had to rebuild it but uh, yeah i put them all as repelling so they all, they all repel outside which is frankly screwed up the performance of it so it's like slower speed basically give me a sec there now i don't think i'll be able to do this one-handed i'm not 100 sure to be honest Ah, got ya. So it does make a little bit of noise. It's all spinning up. Um, if you never include the uh, power supply, you'll hear a difference because it's much higher voltage. Well, it should do, unless it's blown up. I just pick up speed anyway. Yeah. So this is just running the um, running off the car battery now because it's all switched off on the power supply. It's a bit of back EMF there, but I mean this this has been pretty good. I remember I have a, a covering piece over here. Oh, that, obviously over there. The same that I've got a small a vacuum feeling from it. Yeah. Like that. You can hear a slight whirring effect because that's the the metal moving between the broken magnetic fields. Um, I tried to cure that by using little pieces of metal as you can see here. It's slightly bent. I had them running inside the uh, inner core of the magnets because it did it did smoothen out the field, but it affects again the output of the power. 
probably halved it at that. But yeah, maybe if anybody else needs that type of you know smoothening out, just remember, doesn't matter if they all rip out, just put a bit of metal, a little thin slice. I've only got one there, and that was enough to smoothen the fields out completely, even though they were all repelling. But yeah, again, you get uh, affected by performance. Yeah, I'm not giving up on this stuff, no way. I've still got ideas. But just to say, this one suffers from lens law, and the possibilities again three phase, the blades, the magnets, how many magnets there are, what's in the inner core, the fact that these two are together. So many different factors that this one is overall more flawed than it is usable in a way but it doesn't have as much lens law so maybe uh, you know put a little wind turbine on there it'll work the same way but with less less cogging to be honest actually there's a lot less cogging even when I dead shorted it the Spadini mo motor could still run it so yeah it does develop torque um, and that's all I've really got to say on uh, all this I'll see ya.